Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Hope everyone has a great holiday with your family. Today's video is going to be a tour of one of my curios that has random Star Wars stuff in it. A lot of collectibles. Thought it'd be fun to take a tour of that. So let's take a tour. All right, guys, on the top shelf for this random curio, we have a Jabba's Dungeon playset populated with Bib Fortuna. And we have a Gamorrean guard looking squeaky clean and a Nikto. Both both actually very nice. Um, I love, love the Jabba goons. And an 88 droid, slightly yellowed. And a Klaatu skiff guard is kind of hiding in the back there. And behind the playset are the original, uh, well, they're, they're vintage postcards um, from back in the day um, from the trilogy. Um, guy that I bought a Han and Carbonite action figure from had him. He bought them back in the day himself. And so I just threw them in the back there as, uh, you know, diorama, background, backdrop dressing whatever you want to call it it's better than looking at a white wall so yeah there's my dungeon there's one of them and this light in here broke so i threw some led lights in here kind of sloppy looking i'm not too uh you know this is the stepchild detolf and here's my burger king glasses which you guys may have seen the video that i did on the burger king glasses they're very cool um i'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check out that video um, it's a set of 12 glasses, really awesome artwork. Each one of them got their own little special Star Wars magic going on. All right, guys, moving on down to the next shelf. We have my other random collection of items like this Retro Stormtrooper, which, as you guys know, I don't really collect modern toys, especially the retro stuff, but my brother sent it to me. Here she sits in my collection. I also have this awesome vintage dinner plate from back in the day. You guys remember these? 1977. So cool. Had all the major players on it. Chewie, Darth, Luke. Luke shooting a blue blaster bolt. Leia. R2. 3PO. Tuscan Raider. Jawas. They included everybody, you know, the quintessential uh, 77 lineup. Tarkin didn't make it on the plate, though. I wonder why. I guess he's too evil looking. But these plates were awesome. All right. And the next up, we have a Millennium Falcon, modern, slightly die cast type of toy. Little action stand there, display stand rather. 2004, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I just have random pieces in here. Stuff I've kept, collected along the way. Got a snow speeder. Love the snow speeder. And, of course, the cockpit pops up. It's a nice little feature. A little bit of air flaps. Get these things opened up. There we go. I don't know. Just little somethings. Like I said, just random bits. In this curio cabinet stuff that does not really go with the rest of the uh, collection of Keir Kenner toys. Like take this Boba Fett for example. He's not vintage. Almost. Very close. Nice modern version of the otherwise awesome amazing Kenner figure. Yes, I mean it's modern but he gets a pass. He looks very much like the Kenner one. They did a great job. It's three and three quarters. Looks a little beefier, I think. A little, little bit taller than the Kenner one. Somehow it looks a little different, but... Yeah, otherwise... Yeah, that's why he's stuck in here. Guarding this shelf with the random stuff. I'm alright with that. And then, of course, I have these catalogs. These are the amazing Kenner mini catalogs that we used to get with all the toys. Um, I love these things. I could flip through these things all day. Um, I actually... Um, did a video on these catalogs recently, which I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out. 
Um, it's kind of lengthy, so, you know, grab a soda and, uh, you know, get comfy because it's a long video. But it covers all the uh, collector catalogs. Not all of them, but the ones that I have, the vast majority of them. A lot more thorough, in-depth um, look-see than the brief little cursory glance I'm giving you guys right here. But yeah, these are some overflows, so they're stuck in here as well. All right, let's move some stuff around so I can get to these books back here. Yeah, I mean, I collect everything at Star Wars. If it's vintage, I'm going to collect it it's without fail, eventually. Like this book, the original novelization, I had to get one. I remember reading this back in the day in school, each one of these novels. Um, probably read this first one a couple times. It's very awesome. It's got photos in it. How cool is that? Old school novelization, and you, you still get some color photographs to flip through. A nice little bonus for a kid. You know, you just got a regular novel, and bam, there's some photos in there. It's not it's not a storybook. It's not a storybook. It's a novel, so it's a nice little surprise. But yeah, I just, I just love these novels. Just like, the you know, it's got the school, the old school movie kind of credits, you know. 1976. Doesn't get any more old school than that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm probably take a, a thumb through these books at some point in the future, just to take a trip down memory lane. Um, if I don't choke on all the dust that's emanating out of these pages, um, yeah, the Empire Strikes Back one. This one, this book is in slightly better condition. I think um, pages are a little, little yellowed. Um, it tends to happen with paper, naturally, and. Kenner products, especially. <laughs> um, not that this is Kenner product, but, um, you know, stuff that's 40 years old. What do you expect? Now, I'm happy to have the books. I got to get the Jedi one, and then I got all three of them. And, of course, I'll swap them out for better versions. Yeah, this is a pewter at -AT. Um, I've had this for some time. It's very cool. Um... It's nice little paper weight. Not that I ever used it for that. I used to collect pewter, pewter pieces back in the day, and you know I'd pick these up when I'd find them randomly. Um, it's nice, it's very good detail. I mean, can't complain. And then of course I have a Anakin Skywalker. Which this one's pretty dang cool. I'm glad they made this one Anakin because this was back in the '90s. These pieces, um, for them to make Anakin Skywalker at all as a pewter piece was a surprise. Could have chose a jillion other characters. Anakin in this form doesn't get much love. At least he didn't then. Darth Vader helmet, pretty sweet. The face itself, he looks like the um, Barney Fife. Looks less like Sebastian Shaw and more like Barney Fife. Um, Sebastian Shaw, that is the actor's name. I hope I'm getting that right. The guy that played uh, Anakin Return of the Jedi. Um, yeah, looks more like Barney Fife to me, but still cool. And then, of course, Luke Skywalker. This is actually the first pewter piece I believe I got. Um, yeah, I... I Saw it in a, in a store and I just super excited. I thought the detailing on it was cool. I couldn't believe they made you know something this small that was incredibly detailed and uh, durable. Pretty happy that I still have this Luke Skywalker figure. It is pewter. Over time, the detail can get eroded from oil in your hands, but I managed to take good care of it. So very happy I still have it. Um, then of course, uh, you know, Anakin had to get the father son duo. I had to get them both. I got Anakin about, I don't know, a year ago, though. Luke I've had for a long time. And then when I was in Chicago recently this summer, I uh, picked up this puzzle. Yeah, my brother and I were doing some uh, vintage toy hunting, and we stumbled into this toy shop. And um, yeah, man, I saw this puzzle, and it was in a case. This is old school, 1977, 140 pieces. Beautiful jigsaw puzzle box is great shape. There's no way I was going to just leave it there. Um, yeah, I mean, just I wasn't I wasn't looking for a puzzle that day. I was looking for toys, but 
Hey, it's vintage Star Wars. Kenner. Well, yeah, I'm not going to leave it. I'm not going to just leave it there. You guys know me better than that. Yeah, look at this. Old school where they used to write the price on the box. So cool. It's nothing, nothing written. It's one little blemish right there, but the box. Guys, look at this box. It's sealed. This is a sealed puzzle. I could not pass it up. I mean, I, I, to get anything sealed anymore that's vintage is a treat. So, yes, for $20, I had to pick this jigsaw puzzle up all day long. Absolutely. It's a nice little find. There's a little veining right there, but boxes, psh, she's great. Overall, she looks great. All right, next up, we actually have the, the true story books. They did make storybooks for each of the movies, and I have all of them. Um, this is the hardcover version. They did make a uh, paperback, but this is the uh, hardcover this is awesome. I mean, it's just, I use that word a lot when I refer to Star Wars. Everything in Star Wars is awesome. I apologize, guys, but I'm really not sorry because everything in Star Wars is awesome, including this storybook. These photos are amazing. I mean, as a kid flipping through this, this trumps the, the uh, novelization. Yes, you can read them, but to get the photos, and there's so many of them, it's like eye candy. And this is the paperback version of the same book. Um... Slightly nicer condition, um, but uh, yeah, you know I'm a nutbag. I gotta get, I gotta get every version, every kind of vintage, whatever. So cool. Highly recommend thumbing through these. If you see one of these in a store and it's on, you know, not too pricey, pick one up. You'll you'll enjoy flipping through it. I promise. And then of course, um, have the Empire Strikes Back hardcover one. Awesome. This one's probably the best. Condition version, or rather, this is the best of the three books that I have. Um, so again, I'm always constantly upgrading everything in my collection, regardless of what it is, whether it be an action figure or even a storybook. Definitely wanted these in my collection. Tracking each little piece of paperwork down, any paperback. There's so many books that were made for the old for the trilogy magazines and coloring books and. So a lot of paper goods to collect for uh, vintage Star Wars stuff, but these storybooks are rad. I I highly um, highly recommend grabbing them if you find them. And of course, last but not least, the Return of the Jedi storybook. Pretty decent shape. I mean, this one actually may be better than the Empire one. I take it back. Um, yeah, I nineteen eighty three. Again, flipping through this as a kid, opening this up. Psh, yeah, this is awesome. This is the next best thing to the movie. Next best thing to playing with the toys. Flipping through storybooks. Looking at the photos of all the characters. and I mean, this is this is great right here. Nothing, it's not like a hefty book. You can't get through it, you know, quickly. But as a kid, yeah, it's take you a minute. All right, guys, we're down to the bottom shelf. Here we have a Toys R Us battery. A nice little keepsake memento of a time long past. Let's give a moment of silence for our dearly beloved departed Toys R Us. May it rest in peace. Thank you for all the beautiful memories and beautiful Kenner Star Wars toys that you have given us over the years. Amen. Just a nostalgic little keepsake to remind myself of my childhood. Just like this wicked Ewok eraser from 1983. Kind of a scary looking little creature if you ask me. But he's an oddity, so in the curio cabinet he goes with the rest of the random stuff. Guys, I told you I have random vintage stuff and you're like erasers and... Well, more erasers. Another wicked eraser. What can I say? I love the Ewoks, the murder bears, the tree rats, whatever you want to call them. I do love the Ewoks. I'll I'll back them up every day, all day long. So yeah, I have some erasers. I think that's it for school supplies. But I do have pins. Do you guys remember these these old school pins? Um, I don't know anyone that didn't wear pins on their jacket or their baseball hat back in the day. That was the thing. I actually have um, that one, and then this same made from the same company. Um, this one's. Obviously sealed in the package. Package is a little beefed up, but still very cool. 
Can't complain. It looks like it sold for a dollar at some point. Yeah, I highly doubt I'll ever take it out of the package. I really don't see the point in that. Looks good just the way it is. I like things in the package. Let's see, I got some Topps trading cards wrapping. Some of the wrapping, uh, the cellophane. Good old Topps trading cards. Do you guys remember those? Those things were awesome. So many to collect. You know, it, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know anybody that was super big into the Topps trading cards um, that was like gung-ho that collected every single, you know, was like, I'm getting the whole set. I think everybody wanted wanted cards to play with. Um, so cool. Look at this. That's Obi-Wan Kenobi. I mean, look at the detail on these wrapping, on the wrappers. It's pretty awesome. And in keeping with the theme of hodgepodge, I have a gear for my Sonic Land Speeder in here. Yep, the uh, gear in the Land Speeder broke, so it's sitting in a box that I just kind of threw it in there. Here's some more Empire Strikes Back Tops cards. I knew I had a bunch of them somewhere. Um, here they are. Trying to eventually, I may try to get the whole set. Just kind of picking away at them here and there. Um, these are awesome. These are actually in pretty good shape. I got these for my birthday actually um just this past this year um so it's pretty cool i mean look at this 3po a lot of hoth stuff it's just so awesome i love the pictures yoda quintessential empire strikes back just so so cool so like i don't know the tops they Tops is king, man. Tops did it right. They've been around forever. They just did it absolutely right. And Tops and Star Wars back in the day was huge. Absolutely huge. I'm sure you guys do remember that as well. And this is a um some cards, some more cards here. This is a Star Wars Galaxy card. Art of Star Wars. Artist is Jim Steranko. Very cool artwork from Empire Strikes Back. It's a tops, tops type of card. And these are playing cards featuring all the Kenner action figures. Never seen these before. These are kind of cool. Nice little party, party treat. And speaking of tops trading cards, my dear friends Sam and Mark got me this awesome Empire Strikes Back um, book on the tops trading cards. Very cool, nice little like coffee table style book. Yeah, it's pretty sweet inside um, the book itself. It basically history, a little bit of history on the cards and features all the cards in the the, uh, the first series inside the book. So, you know, heaven forbid should I not get all the cards in my collection, I at least have this book to flip through and see what I'm missing. And, you know, it's it's pretty awesome. Put that back in here, safekeeping, snug, snug in the corner. And now this little piece right here, I got this um, with a 90, with a lot of action figures. It's like 90 something figures. This is an Empire Strikes Back metal bank. Um, super cool. Like I said, it was part of this lot. The guy threw it in there. Wasn't expecting it. I was just going there for all the, uh, the lot of action figures. And then lo and behold, this was in there. Han Solo. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Luke Skywalker. R2-D2. It's Chewbacca. It looks kind of like Wolfman. It's kind of very Marvel-esque uh, artistry right here. Princess Leia. This is Han Solo. Han and Luke look very similar on this uh, can. Um, and C-3PO. And then, of course, Yoda. Now, this bank is awesome. Nice, nice little extra piece from 1980 from England. Wasn't expecting it. Didn't even know it existed. But it's a nice piece to have in my collection. Completely random. It's not like I'm gonna I have a thing for banks or anything, but you know, it's, it's Empire Strikes Back. I couldn't say no. It's metal too. It's, it's gonna last a while. It's not like it's gonna get yellow because it's plastic. Thank God. And this is a tin. Um this company, Chenico, um, they put out a bunch of different tin canisters, um, different variant sizes. If I'm not mistaken, there are different sets that you can get. Um, this one I think I saw in a, uh, a thrift store for like five bucks, something like that. And I'd, I'd actually never seen it before. So I just picked it up and it wasn't until I got it home later on that I did some research and found out that, yeah, 
this company actually made a bunch of them. So there you go. And along with that puzzle that I got, I also got this comic book from that um, this place called Smash Toys. It's in Chicago. It's a vintage toy shop. I was in there, like I said, with my brother looking for Star Wars toys. Saw the puzzle. Was talking to the guy, the clerk. He had the, um, he said, hey, I got some other stuff behind the counter in the back. You know, let me see what I got. Maybe this will be interesting to you. And sure enough, Marvel comic book. Hell yeah, I'm going to take it. Star Wars. I mean, look at this. It's a pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. Um, and I actually have never read this, this entire thing. So I'm looking forward to sitting down and um, to going through it all page by page. Very cool item. And yes, go, go check out Smash Toys in Chicago if you haven't. Awesome store. Awesome, awesome place. Good people. And here's some trading cards, some more extra trading cards I have, some Topps cards stuck in a sleeve. Completely forgot about them because, like I said, this curio is just random stuff, so I throw stuff in here and sometimes I tend to forget what's in there. It happens. I'm going to go ahead and put these back here. And tech next to the um, trading cards are my some of my instructions for the Kenner Star Wars toys. I know it's random. Why are these instructions all the way over here and not with the toys themselves? I actually don't keep the um, the box toys that I have. I don't keep all of the I don't keep the instructions in the boxes necessarily. I like to keep the instructions separate, sealed in plastic, um, such as this Sonic Land Speeder um, instructions that I have right here, along with the Sand Crawler. Um, Paper goods, you know, from Kenner, how do you like it? Quality control. This is the sand crawler sticker sheet. There's another catalog. It's random random paper Kenner goodness, as I call it. You know, just safekeeping. Stick that right back in this bag here. Ziploc. Paper goods are so special to me. I mean, I, if you guys are into that stuff, I am. I always try to get the paper goods when I buy by Kenner Toys. It's just that extra little piece of history that, I don't know, adds a little something to it. And plus, it's complete. Like this Land of the Jawas action playset. I have the whole thing. I have the box. I got the instructions. The playset itself. It's a complete thing. Um, it's great. I mean, the paper paper goods, it's, it's where it's at. X-Wing Fighter. I believe there's a TIE Fighter one in here as well. Um, yeah, that one. Um, the ad at it's good stuff, guys. Put these back in here, nice and safe and sound. And tucked behind those guys is my 1983 Return of the Jedi Darth Vader piggy bank. That's right, guys. This is actually a piggy bank from 1983. Some fairly decent shape. Um, I actually got this from my boy. Vic over at Vintage Toy Division. If you guys are on Instagram and you're looking for Star Wars toys, look up Vintage Toy Division. The guy hooks it up. He's He finds the goods. Anyway, um, I got this bank from him. And um, yeah, random, but so cool. I mean, it's in pretty pretty awesome shape. And it's another, another awesome vintage Star Wars piece. Of course, I'm going to take it. And tucked behind that are some... I don't want to say old school, but still kind of old school. Super Star Wars games, the Super Nintendo games from the 90s, the early 90s. Now, I don't know if you guys are into video games or not. I'm not. I'm not a big gamer or anything like that. But when I saw these come out back in the 90s, I had to get them. Star Wars, absolutely. Of course, there's this, the regular um, Nintendo games, you know, Atari. But this is a little updated version of that. And they're very, very cool if you guys haven't played them. You're missing out. Uh, try them if you ever get a chance to get a Super Nintendo and stumble on these games. Just buy them if you see them at a garage sale. Empire Strikes Back, so much fun. You seriously will have a lot of fun playing these if you haven't. I don't even have a Super Nintendo anymore, um, but I still held on to these games. Um, I got to find another one because I, I want to play them. I do remember how much fun they were for what they were. Look at that original Best Buy sticker. Another brick and mortar thing of the past. Kind of like um, Toys R Us. 
Things are changing, guys. Got to hang on to the history. It's why these toys are so special. Star Wars in general is so special to me, like many of you. It's, um, it's our childhood. It's, it gives us the feels. It's what makes us feel good inside. This, this is actually um, some old school stickers that I found on a vinyl, um, an action figure collector case. Some kid must have stuck these on the case, and the case was utterly destroyed, but I liked the stickers so much that I cut the vinyl off and just stuck them in there. You got to do that, man. Sometimes you can't leave um, vintage stuff. Um, can't just throw it away. Got to find a way to salvage it. Got to find a way to save Star Wars. Metal lunchbox from Thermos. Do you guys remember these lunchboxes? I do. This is takes me right back to school. Old school for sure. Metal Lunchbox, awesome artwork, Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader. I mean, this is, I, I just wanted to go to lunch, lunch just so I could bust out my box, just so I had a reason to monkey with it. I mean, and of course it goes beyond, you know, lunch, crayons, what, you know, whatever kind of toy action figures. I mean, these lunch boxes were used for more than just uh, lunch, let's be honest. Um, but artwork on here is awesome. I mean, just every side of it. Jabba, our boy Jabba down here at the bottom. 1983, hanging out with Bib. Super cool. Um, Thermos. Did it right. These things are durable. And of course, wouldn't be complete without the actual Thermos itself, which is in pretty decent condition. This one right here has the cap. It's complete. Um, it is sealed. It, it does. Um, the sealant is not broke. So it still works. It's functioning. Not that I'm ever going to put my mouth on it or anything, because I'm not. Yeah, I waited a, a minute to, to track a decent one down. I, I see these from time to time, but I'm super picky about the aesthetics. I want the box to look nice. And of course, I'm still missing the original lunchbox and the Empire Strikes Back lunchbox, which I will track down at some point. Well, guys, that is the corner curio collection that I wanted to show you guys today. So there you go. There she is. My random goodies. Random Star Wars goodies. Hope you enjoyed the tour of my Corner Curio collection. And if you liked the video, give that like button a thumbs up because it does help out the channel. And if you've not done so, blast that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Have yourselves a Merry Christmas. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.